Hi guys, today we're going to be replacing a hard drive on an Optiplex 3020 unit. So first things first, need to get the case off. Two screws on the case. Don't need to come all the way out. And that just pops out, case lid off, inside, bit dusty, um, as you can see the CD drive is there, hard drive underneath. Um, so first things first, we need to get the CD drive out, it's a uh, lifting up of the latch and then just sliding it out. And you can just move that to one side, uh, there we can see the uh, hard drive. Okay, so um, remove the cables from the hard drive first of all. So we've got the SATA cable for data and the SATA power cable for power. So once those are suitably out the way, you'll see there's a latch there. It's just a simple um, pull to the left to unlock and then basically remove the um, the 3.5 inch okay um, basically the uh, 3.5 inch should just slide out and I'll just put that to one side and now we're going to install the uh, SSD drive so the SSD drive out. And today we'll be installing a 240 gig Crucial BX500. So there is no direct um, mount for the SSD drive on the 3020 small form factor but what we can do is if you have some previous uh, screws from a previous install you can use one of those to attach that directly to the, uh, to the unit so we go. Just grab the screw up the bag Okay, and as you can see on the unit there's no real space but what we do have is a hole just there which um, we can pop a screw in and uh, we'll be able to latch that off. I'm just putting my phone down temporarily while I get that latched on. As we can see, that just sort of latches it on with one screw. It's not ideal, but it's all we've got to work with uh, for the moment. So now that's in, the SSD is in. Um, it does sort of slide a bit left and a bit right, but it's enough to keep it in place. So now we need to get that back in. So there are two latches on the end of here. If you just slot it in and push it down, it should should be absolutely no issues getting that back in, and it should you should hear the click when that goes back in. Oh. Ah, that one's slightly bent there. That's why that's not clicking in. It should be fine. Um, lock that back into position. Okay, make sure that's all secure, which it is. Pop your um, pop your data cable back in, and 
power cable. Power cable's coming off the, um, the CD drive, so it might actually make sense to just slide this back in. This just just does slide in and click um, like so. You should see that that's flush. It is. And now we're going to plug in the power. That's in there now. Make sure those cables are tucked nice and neat out of the way. Make sure that's all secure. And um, just for your record, if you want to know how to clear the BIOS password, if you ever get stuck and you don't know how to get into the password, you can see that there's a PSWD uh, jumper there. If you remove the jumper, uh, slide it on onto the other notch and then power it on it will clear the BIOS password um, and then that will allow you to change the password basically so uh, that's just a useful tidbit to know once that's all sorted uh, get your case back on and you're good to go well, thank you very much for watching